Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon A. And in this lesson, we'll discover together les verbes avec l'auxiliaire être. So if you remember, in some cases, for what we call composed tenses, uh, you will have to use whether avoir or être. So in most of the cases, you will have to use avoir. But then in some cases, you will have to use this auxiliaire être. Okay, and uh, well, I've been doing some videos regarding this topic, but then I thought that maybe it might be useful to see because there are many, many different techniques to remember the list of verbs that will require this être uh, verb. Uh, and then here is one of them. And it's called Dr. A and Mrs. P. Van der Tramp. Okay, so it's a technique that apparently is uh, used uh, in, uh, well, English-speaking countries. Okay, so we'll see that uh, it can be quite useful. I'm not really sure if it's working for everyone, but still, it's uh, one technique. Okay, so the idea is that you will, well, try to remember actually these or these names, and then, uh, well, each letter will represent one verb that will require this auxiliaire être. Okay, so let's start now. And so if we take the whole thing here and then we take only the first letter here, it's D, and then D will be for the verb descendre. Okay? Descendre. Then after that, R will be for rentrer. Okay? Rentrer. Then M will be for mourir. Mourir. R will be for revenir, revenir. Then we'll have S and it will be, it will be for sortir, sortir. P, passer par. Okay, passer par. Then V. Venir, okay, venir, after that you will have A, and A is for aller, aller, N, naître, naître, then you will have D, and D will be for devenir, devenir, E, Entrer, entrer, then R for retourner, retourner, T for tomber, tomber, R for rester, rester, then A for arriver, Arriver, M will be for monter, monter, and last but not least, P will be for partir, partir. Okay, so you have it. Um, as I said, I'm not really sure uh, if it works for uh, everyone, but then it's one option, okay, or then the other option will be or would be the, 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 the classical list and then you learn them by heart. I mean, that's one option. So let's see them one more time. Okay, so the, the first one is descendre. After that, we'll have entrer. Then mourir. Revenir. Sortir. Passer par. Venir, aller, naître, devenir, entrer, retourner, tomber, rester, arriver, monter, Partir. 
and that's it if you want more videos then remember the channel is here youtube.com slash imagier and if you want to like me on facebook oh i would be so happy remember it's on facebook.com slash imagier.net and then more material can be find, found sorry there imagier.net have a great day bye bye Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, Leçon B. And in this lesson we'll see together what we call les homographes. So don't be afraid, don't be scared, it's actually not that difficult. When we're talking about this, about this uh, homograph thing, we're talking about words that will be written almost the same way normally they should be written the same way but in we'll see that we've got two cases that are a bit uh, special but then they are written almost the same way uh, but then uh, according to the gender so whether it's masculine or feminine the meaning of the word will change okay so we'll see the first one the first one is un moral okay un moral and so you can see the meaning here in English okay and so if we see the feminine form and I wanted to start with this one because as I said in most of the cases they will be written the same way but in that case you get this e uh at the end which is silent so you don't pronounce it so clearly it is the same pronunciation for the two words but then in that case it's feminine une morale okay and here is the meaning in English okay so un moral une Moral. Okay, so let's see the second now. Un moule. Okay, and you've got here the meaning. Un moule. And the feminine form. Une moule. Alright. Une moule. Okay, keep in mind you pronounce them the same way, but then as you can see, the meaning is different. Le physique. Le physique and here is the meaning and then la physique la physique and you've got here the meaning okay le physique la physique un poste un poste and here normally so post or position we're talking about the job okay un poste une poste une poste and here is the meaning un tour un tour okay so actually this word has quite many meanings so it can be tour journey turn and other meanings as well but then the good thing is that the feminine form une tour has only one translation and it's here it's our une tour okay so un tour une tour and then un livre un livre une livre une livre okay so we're talking about the pound so it can be uh, well, the measurement for uh, uh, the weights, or then it can be as well uh, une livre sterling. So if we're talking about the money, okay. Un mémoire, un mémoire, and then une mémoire, une mémoire. Un capital. Un capital. So here we're talking about money. <laughs> Une capital. Une capital. So uh, you can see that we pronounce it the same way, but as we had previously, you get to put this uh, at the end. Okay. Un voile. Un voile. Une voile. Une voile. And here with the sail, we're talking about the, the, the part of the sailing boat. 
and that's it if you want more videos then remember the channel is here and then like me on facebook i will be so happy facebook.com slash imagier.net and then the website is here if you want more material have a great day bye bye bonjour à tous and welcome to learn french with vincent and this is unité 11 leçon c and in this lesson we'll see together what we call les homophones so it's actually quite interesting in that lesson so we'll talk about words that you will write differently but then phonetically you will pronounce them the same way and of course they will have different meanings okay so let's start now and the first one is un air okay we'll make this little link between the two un air okay and here you get the translation in english and then you've got une air okay so you can see that you write it differently but then clearly phonetically it's the same une air and this is the translation in english une amende une amende and that's what it means and then une amende so here you can see that the only difference is here you get a and here you've got a okay so amende amende and the meaning is fine we're talking he here about the nice little gift you will get if you break the law une amende une encre une encre and then feminine as well une encre Okay, so you can see here that the only difference is A here and then E here. Okay, so une encre and une encre, it's the same. Un bar. Un bar. And then une bar. Okay, so you can hear that it's exactly the same way to that you pronounce, but then you get R, R, and then E. Okay, une bar. Okay, so in that case, it's this adjective, bon, and the meaning is good in English. Okay, bon, all right, and here we've got substantive, un bon, un bon, un bou. Remember, final T not pronounced, un bou. Une bou. Okay, so here the only difference between the two is here you get T at the end and here you get E at the end. Une bou. Un but. Un but. Une but. Une but. Un cent. Okay, remember this G here it doesn't exist, so un cent. And then here we've got this cent. Quite useful because it means without cent. And we've got a third one, cent, written like that, and it's hundred. Okay, so un cent, cent, cent. Un champ, un champ, un champ, un champ. So here it's quite tricky because uh, if you look carefully, well, of course, you pronounce them the same way because that's the, the, the topic of this video, but then uh, masculine in both cases. So, un champ, un champ. Un col. Un col. Une col. Une col. And that's it for this lesson. If you want more videos, then the channel is here on YouTube. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash 
imagier.net and then the website is here. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11 Leçon D. And in this lesson we'll continue with the lesomophone because actually I was thinking about doing four videos uh, concerning this topic. So remember, when we're talking about les homophones, we're talking about all these words that we have in French that you will write differently, but then pronounce the same way. And of course, the meanings uh, will be different. So that's the reason why it's quite important to take a few minutes to try to see them and try to avoid uh, any mistakes. Okay? All right, so we'll start now. And the first one is un compte. Un compte. And here you will have the translation. Un compte. So exactly the same pronunciation, but then of course the meaning is different. Un compte. Un coup. And then un coup. All right, so you can see that you get this final B here, but then you don't pronounce it. And last, un coup. Okay, remember, accent circonflex, you don't pronounce it. Final T, same thing, you don't pronounce it. Okay, so un coup, un coup, and then un coup, the same pronunciation. Une cour. And then we've got the adjective cour. And after that, un cour. And then un cour. All right, so you can see that here you get the feminine, une cour. Then you get the adjective cour, un cour, un cour. Un cuir. And the verb cuir. Okay, so un cuir and then cuir. Une date. Une date. So it's quite interesting because in English uh, it's written the same way. Okay, so in that case we're talking about the fruit. So une date. Okay, and here une date. So 31 janvier, for instance. Une date, okay? Une O. And then the adjective, O. Okay? Une O. O. Une fin. And then, une fin. Okay, so phonetically the same. Un fil. Une fil. Okay, so don't try to, uh, well, don't mix it with uh, une fille, okay, because you get the double L, but in that case you get only one, so une fil, okay? Un fil, une fil. Lait. Un lait. Okay, so the only difference is the final thing here. D, you don't pronounce it. T, you don't pronounce it. So phonetically, you only have this lait. Une mer. Une mer. Un mer. All right, so mer, mer, mer. All right, in both cases. Here you've got the feminine form, and then here it's masculine. Of course, it could be feminine as well because uh, mayor can be ladies as well. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. That's the channel. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. And then more material can be found at the following address. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon E. And it will be the third video that will cover this topic, les homophones. So remember, 
we write them differently we pronounce them the same way and they have different meanings okay so that's the thing um, it is the third video so the next one will be the last one covering this topic okay so let's start now un maître and so you will have the translation here un maître and then un maître as well okay so un maître and un maître same pronunciation un moi and then moi me okay so un moi and moi un mur and the adjective mur okay so un mur and mur un nez nez okay so un nez and nez un nom nom un nom nom un pain un pain right un pain un pain un père une paire Père. Okay, so in that case, we're talking about the numbers. All right, so père. So here, un père, une paire, père. Une patte. Une patte. Okay, une patte, une patte. Une pomme. Une pomme. Okay, so you can see that I pronounce them a little bit, uh, well, a little bit different, differently. But then uh, we'll be careful that in many, many cases people will pronounce them the same way. Okay, because in that case normally it should be a bit lower, pomme, and then here more open, so pomme. Okay. Une pause. Une pause. Okay, so une pause, une pause. All right, that's it. Uh, if you want more videos, then the YouTube channel is here, and then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. And if you want more material, then it's here. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, Leçon F. And in this lesson we'll finish our big thing with les homophones. So it's the fourth video covering this topic. Uh, remember les homophones, we're talking about words that uh, are pronounced the same way but written differently. And of course the meaning is different. Okay, so we'll see ten of them uh, in this video. So let's start with the first one. Une peau. And here you have the meaning in English. Une peau. Un peau. Okay, so une peau, un peau. Un point. Un point. All right, so you can see that here. The only difference is the final letter, okay, but then they are pronounced the same way and both of them are masculine. Un point, un point. Un port. Un port. Okay, exactly the same thing here. Only the last letter is different. You don't pronounce it, and then both of them are masculine. Un port. Un prêt. Prêt. 
prêt. Okay, so it's quite interesting here. So you get un prêt, written like that. So in that case, it's a substantive, so word, noun. And that's the meaning. Then you get prêt, like that. So final S, but then of course you don't pronounce it. And here, prêt, so the adjective. Okay. Une roue. Roue. All right, so une roue, and then roue. Salle. Une salle. Okay, so even if you get the double L here, it will be still the same pronunciation as this one. So salle, une salle. So in that case, it's here, it's an adjective. Un seau. Un seau. Okay, so un seau, and then the same way, un seau. Sur. Sur. Okay, even if you get this accent circonflex, you don't pronounce it, so you get the same pronunciation sur and sur. Une tente. Une tente. Okay, so it's exactly the same pronunciation, even if you get a here, here, and e here. Okay, and both of them are feminine. Une tente. Un toit. Toit. Okay, so in that case, we're talking about moi, toi, lui, elle, so we saw that a long time ago. Okay, and then both of them are pronounced like toi. Un toi, toi. And this is it. If you want more videos, then the YouTube channel is here and it's waiting for you. Like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. And then the website is here and it's waiting for you. www.imagier.net Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 11, Leçon G. And in this lesson, we'll see together le préfixe il. So, il. When we're talking about prefix, normally we're talking about, uh, well, letters, a group of letters uh, that you will put in front of existing words. And by adding these letters or group of letters, you will change the meaning or the original meaning of the word. Okay? And that will be the case with this prefix il. Okay? So, let's see. And so, normally if we're talking about this il prefix, then it will mean privé de sang. Okay, and this is actually what it means in English, so without or then, well, less. Okay, so that will be the meaning of this il prefix. Let's see three examples. So the first one here, légitime. Okay, so légitime. And then if you want to express, well, the without concept, then you will add this prefix i l at the beginning and then after that you continue with your original word légitime and now you get illégitime okay illégitime légitime illégitime second example lisible okay lisible and then same idea you just add this i l in front and then you get illisible illisible and the last one legal okay legal exactly the same concept you just add this i l in front of legal and you get illegal okay so of course you understood that we add this i l here because the original word is starting with 
L. Okay, so that's the reason why you will have this E and then L. All right, so legal, illegal. It was a short lesson, but quite interesting. We will continue uh, with the well in, with the following videos. We'll continue with this uh, prefix uh, thing because I think it's quite important to try to cover them uh, as much as possible. Okay, but then the video, uh, more videos are there. Okay, and then like me on Facebook if you want, and more material can be found at the following address: www.imagier.net. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, Leçon H. And we'll continue uh, with uh, les préfixes. So we just made a, a video before uh, and it was uh, concerning le préfix IL and in this lesson we'll see le préfix IM. Okay, so when we're talking about préfix, we're talking about letters that you will add at the beginning of existing words and uh, by adding these letters you will modify the, the, the meaning of the word okay so let's see now and in this lesson well by adding this em at the beginning of existing words in most of the cases they will start with p okay just for your inform information by adding this em you will modify the meaning and it will mean privé de or sans okay that is the result that you will get by adding this em okay so let's see now a few examples the first one is pair okay so the meaning is even and then i just put some numbers to to, to make it uh, clear that we're talking about numbers so two, four, six, eight. okay so pair and then if you want to express the without so you will use this impair, impair. So you put im, and then after that the rest impair. Okay. Pardonable, pardonable. Same rule, same way of working. Im in front, impardonable, impardonable. Parfait, parfait, exactly the same, imparfait, imparfait. Pensable, pensable, and then it goes all the time the same way, impensable, impensable. Poly, poly, impoli, impoli, possible, possible, impossible, impossible. Précis, précis, imprécis. So you can see that it's all the time the same technique. So you just add this em in front. Imprécis, probable, probable. Improbable, improbable, prudent, prudent, imprudent, imprudent. And that's it. Keep in mind that when you add this E, M at the beginning of all the words, you will get the nasal sound okay you don't pronounce the M but it goes like uh, okay so that's quite important to remember if you want more videos then it's here youtube.com slash imagier and then please like me on Facebook I will be so happy and more material can be found there www.imagier.net
imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, leçon I. And in this lesson we'll still work on les préfixes and in this video it will be le préfixe I. N. Okay, so remember when we're talking about prefix, we just uh, were talking about uh, letters that you will put in front of existing words, and by adding these letters, you will mod modify the original meaning of the word. Okay, so in that case, this en prefix will mean privé de or sans. Okay, privé de. So, and this en will be used when the original word is starting with a vowel or h plus une voyelle. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. And the first one is acceptable. Okay, acceptable. You will have the translation here in English, and it's not that difficult in that case. And if you want to express this privé de or sans, Okay, without or less, then you will add this en as we saw first at the beginning of your word, then you will just add your word and you get inacceptable. Okay, acceptable, inacceptable. Achevé, inachevé. Okay, achevé. Inachevé. Admissible. Inadmissible. Admissible. Inadmissible. Animé. Inanimé. Animé. Inanimé. Attendu, inattendu, attendu, inattendu, imaginable, inimaginable, imaginable, inimaginable. Oubliable, inoubliable, oubliable, inoubliable, utile, inutile, utile, inutile. And that's it. If you want more videos, then the YouTube channel is waiting for you. And it's here, Imagier. Please like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. So it's facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then more material can be found right here. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon J. And in this lesson, we'll see le prefix IR. And the good news is that it will be the last uh, video uh, for this chapter of prefix. Okay, so if you remember when we're talking about prefix, actually we're talking about letters, like in that case IR, that you will add at the beginning of an existing word. And by adding these letters, you will modify the meaning or the original meaning of the word, okay? And in that case, when you will put this ER, and you will see that we're talking about words that will start with ER, okay? But then you will modify the meaning, and the meaning will be privé de or sans, okay? Privé de or sans. So let's check three examples. And the first one is réel. Okay, réel, and then, as I said, you just add this ER, and then after that you put your réel again, and you will get irréel.
irréel. Ok Réel, and then irréel. Régulier. So as I said, remember, they start with R all the time. Régulier. And then exactly the same technique. IR. And after that, you put it back. Irrégulier. OK? Régulier, then irrégulier. And the last one. Résistible. Résistible. And exactly the same way. IR. And you put it back. Irrésistible. Irrésistible. So, résistible, irrésistible. And that's it. And that's it. If you want more videos, then you know probably the channel. It's on youtube.com slash imagier. Please like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then more material can be found here. www.imagier.net. That's it. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir et à bientôt. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11. Leçon K. And in this lesson, we'll see or we'll discover together le suffixe ISER. I -S -E -R. Okay, so after having uh, doing some videos uh, regarding les préfixes, now we'll try to see a little bit uh, what we call les suffixes. Okay, so uh, les suffixes, actually, we're talking about these uh, letters that you can put or you can add at the end of existing words and by adding these letters you will modify it or you will change the meaning or in that case we will change adjectives into verbs okay so that's the whole idea of this video and here we'll only focus on the adjectives that will end with a l okay a l and then, well, as we saw, we will just add at the end of these adjectives, this ESER, just to make a verb. Okay? So let's see a few examples now. And the first one is banal. Okay? So here is the meaning in English. Okay? So if we want to make a verb out of this adjective, then we only need to, as I say, Put this ESER at the end and then you will get banalisé. Banalisé. Okay? So, adjective banal, verbe banalisé. Brutal. And then we will get brutalisé. Okay? Brutal. And then you just add this ESER at the end and you'll get brutalisé. Central, centralisé, ok, exactly the same way, central, and then the verb, centralisé, égal, égalisé, égal, égalisé. Général, généralisé, général, généralisé, légal, légalisé, légal, légalisé. National, nationalisé, national, nationalisé. And that's it. If you want more videos, then the YouTube channel is waiting for you. It's Imagier, and then don't forget to like me on Facebook. 
facebook.com slash imagier.net and then the website is waiting for you if you want more videos more material whatever and then don't forget to send me a little message it's possible to send it right here imagier.net have a great day bye bye Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 11, Leçon L. And in this lesson we'll see together, so it will be the second video that covered this uh, topic, uh, les suffixes. And in that case, in this video, we'll see le suffixe e m e n t E-M-E-N-T, okay? And the idea is to, well, see how we can clearly come from a verb and to make from that verb a noun okay and so the idea is we'll see that if your verb is ending with a air okay so that's what we'll see in this video but of course it doesn't as usual when we we learn French it doesn't concern all the verbs ending with a air okay but actually the verbs that we'll see in this lesson uh, will work with that uh, that uh, concept so you will actually need to take away this a R ending and you will replace it with the suffix so this thing a m e n t okay to get the noun and you get to keep in mind that the noun must express the action okay because you can have many nouns or many uh, substantives as we say that will uh, express different things okay but in that case when you're going from the verb to this substantive so this noun it must express the action okay so let's see a few examples now the first one so amuser okay so you will have here the translation in english okay so well if we just respect the the, the rule so we take away this uh, r and then we will modify and we will put this suffix e m e n t instead and we will get this un amusement okay so Amuser, un amusement. Changer, un changement. Changer, un changement. Commencer, un commencement. Commencer, un commencement. Se comporter, un comportement. Se comporter, un comportement. Développer, un développement. Développer, un développement. Gouverner, un gouvernement gouverner un gouvernement grouper un groupement grouper un groupement rassembler un Rassemblement. Rassembler. Un rassemblement. Traiter. Un traitement. Traiter. Un traitement. And that's it. So if you want more videos, remember the channel is here, youtube.com slash imagier. And please like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then the website is here. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon M. And in this lesson, we'll end... Uh, the series of three videos I think that uh, we've been doing covering le, les suffixes okay and in that case we'll cover or we'll see le suffixe isment okay and the idea is to see how we could make uh, nouns or uh, substantives um, if we're starting from the verbs okay so
let's see the idea is that we're talking here about the verbs that will belong to the second group of verbs so ending in er okay and the well the rule or the way to make them is that we'll take away this er so the ending of the verb and we'll replace it with the le suffix ismant so e s s e m e n t okay so that's the rule and then the only thing that we should keep in mind because of course if we're talking about making uh, substantives uh, based on verbs it's possible to have different type of substantives but in that case uh, the substantive so the noun must express the action okay and that's the that's the only thing that you should keep in mind okay so let's see a few examples now the first one élargir and so you can see here the translation in english un élargissement Okay, so you can see that as we saw, you just need to take away this er from the verb and then you replace it with the isment, okay, and then you get the un élargissement. Okay, so élargir, un élargissement. Ralentir, un ralentissement. Ralentir, un ralentissement. Rajeunir, un rajeunissement. Rajeunir, un rajeunissement. Vieillir, un vieillissement. Vieillir, un vieillissement. And that's it. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then more material can be found at the following address. www.imagier.net Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon N, and we'll start something quite big in this video because uh, well I've been reading quite many things about um, you know persons who want to actually tell uh, the students that uh, normally many words are common in, in English and in French which is the I mean it's true uh, but we must be really careful about that because of course in many situations people will say you know that the E O N words that exist in English will be exactly the same in French and it's not the case uh, sorry sorry about that it's not the case uh, so I've been working quite much on this topic and I've been coming with a list okay and uh, the list is quite big so uh, I thought maybe it would be interesting to try to cover them but then uh, in a fast way somehow okay so it will be the first here you can see <laughs> the first video uh, covering this e o n uh, words that are the same in english and in french okay and so the rule is that of course e o n so you will have the same words in english and in french if the word um, exist in uh, in french and that's the, the the first thing and then remember that in some cases so e uh, will become in French so we'll put the accent and then in some cases Z so la lettre Z will become la lettre S okay all right I didn't put the the, um, the article uh, but then in most of the cases they are feminine okay so let's start now abdication ablution abnegation Abolition, abomination, abrogation, absorption, abstention, abstraction, accélération, accentuation, acceptation, accession, acclamation. Accommodation, accréditation, accumulation, 
accusation, acidification, acquisition, action, activation, adaptation, addiction, addition, adhésion, administration, admiration, admission, adoption, adoration, adulation, aération, affectation, affection, affiliation, affirmation, agglomération, aggravation, agression, agitation, aliénation, alimentation, allégation, allocation, allocution, allusion, alphabétisation, altération, altercation. And that's it for this first list of 50 words that are identical in English and in French. If you want more video, then the video channel, the channel is here. And then like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. And then more material can be found here. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Udité 11, Leçon O. And in this lesson we'll continue uh, the series of videos uh, that will cover this topic, identical words in English and in French, okay? And in that video we'll cover the E-O-N, so we're talking about the endings here, uh, words, okay, but then keep in mind that um, all the E-O-N words in English uh, won't be the same in French, okay, so the first thing that you get to remember is that if it exists in French, then it will be the same, and normally the meaning will be the same. Keep in mind as well that in some cases we'll have some um, differences in the writing, okay, so... Uh, could become A and then Z could become S, okay? But then let's see now. So it's the second part of the list. If you're interested uh, by this thing, then uh, remember that uh, there was a previous video uh, that covered 50 words. In that video, we'll cover still 50 uh, words. And then the, if I remember correctly, the total amount is 500, okay? So, ambition. Amélioration, amplification, amputation, animation, annexion, annotation, annulation, anticipation, apparition, appellation, application, appréciation. Appréhension, approbation, appropriation, approximation, articulation, ascension, aspiration, assignation, assimilation, association, attention, atténuation. Attestation, attraction, attribution, audition, augmentation, auscultation, aviation, bénédiction, bureaucratisation, calcification, calcination. Calibration, canalisation, cannibalisation, capitalisation, célébration, cessation, 
cicatrisation, circulation, citation, civilisation, clarification, classification, coalition, cohabitation. And that's it for these 50 words. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. Like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. And then more material can be found at the following address, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon P. And it will be the third part of uh, the series of videos that we started earlier. And the topic is identical words in English and in French. And in that case, we'll cover the words that will end with E-O-N. So the first rule that you get to keep in mind is that if it exists in French, it will be the same, okay? But it's not all the time the case, all right? And then the second thing that you should remember is that in some cases, we'll write them a little bit differently. So you can see that E uh, in French will be E in some cases, and then Z here in some cases will become S, okay? So let's see, and the list continues. Cohésion, collaboration, collation, collection, collision, collocation, collusion, colonisation, coloration, combustion, commémoration, commercialisation, commission, communication, communion, compassion, compensation, compétition, compilation, complication, composition, compréhension, compression, concentration, conception, conclusion, condition, confection, confédération, confession, configuration, confirmation, confrontation, confusion, connotation, consécration, conservation, considération, conspiration, consternation, construction, contagion, contamination, contemplation, contestation, continuation, contorsion, Contraception, contraction, contradiction. And that's it for this series of 50 words. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash image is waiting for you. Facebook page is, uh, page is online and it's facebook.com slash imagier.net. If you want to like me, I will be so happy. More material can be found there. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, Leçon Q. And in this lesson we'll continue this long series <laughs> of um, videos that will cover this uh, theme, identical words in English and in French and uh, we'll especially focus on this video and uh, the previous and the following videos on the words that will end with e o n okay and then keep in mind that the first rule it, it must exist in french uh, all e o n words in english uh, they don't exist in in french okay so well that's the first thing and then remember that in some cases we'll write them a little bit uh, differently okay so that's the thing and the list continues contravention contribution Contusion, convention, conversation, 
conversion, conviction, convocation, coopération, coordination, coproduction, corrosion, corruption, création, crémation, criminel criminalisation, sorry, it's a difficult one. So again, criminalisation, cultivation, cumulation, désactivation, déception, décision, déclaration, décolonisation, décomposition, décoration, déduction, Définition, déformation, dégradation, dégustation, délation, délectation, délégation, délibération, démission, démobilisation, démocratisation, démodulation, démolition. Démonétisation, démonstration, dénationalisation, dénaturalisation, dénigration, dénomination, dépigmentation, déportation, déposition, dépression, dérision. And that's it for this list of 50 words. If you want more videos, <laughs> then the YouTube channel is waiting for you. YouTube.com slash Imagier. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. And uh, more material can be found at this address, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon R. And in this lesson, we'll continue the thing that we've been starting uh, four videos ago. So uh, the topic is identical words in English and French. And we'll only focus on the E-O-N, so the words that will end with E-O-N in English. And that uh, will be the same in, in French, but then keep in mind that, of course, it must exist in French because it's not all it's not the case for all the words in E O N. So be careful. That's the reason why I wanted to make this uh, a huge list. But then after that, you'll know which one exists in French. And then remember that in some cases, uh, the world the word will a little bit change. So uh, you get the example here. E uh, will become A and then Z will become S. OK. Description, désignation, désolation, déstabilisation, destination, destruction, détection, détention, détérioration, détermination, détonation, d'évaluation, dévastation, déviation, diction, diffusion, digestion, dilatation, dimension, diminution, direction, discrimination, Discussion, disposition, disqualification, dissociation, distinction, distribution, diversification, diversion, divination, division, documentation. Domiciliation, domination, donation, dotation, dramatisation, 
duplication, ébullition, éclosion, édification, édition, éducation, élaboration, électrocution, élévation, élimination, élocution, élucidation. And that's it for this list of 50 words. If you want more videos, then it's uh, youtube.com slash imagier. Please like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then more material can be found there, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 11, Leçon S. And in this lesson, we'll continue with this huge topic, identical words in English and French. And we'll concentrate on the words ending with E-O-N. Okay. Uh, and then remember that the main thing um, with this E-O-N words in English is that uh, it must exist, of course, in French, because it's not the case for all the E-O-N words in English. And then, in some cases, we'll have some modifications in the writing in French. Okay, so let's continue with 50 new words. Émancipation, émission, émotion, épilation, équation, équitation, érosion, éruption. Estimation, évacuation, évaluation, évaporation, évasion, évolution, exaltation, exaspération, exception, exclamation, exclusion, excursion, expansion. Expatriation, expédition, expiration, explication, exploitation, exploration, explosion, exposition, expression, expulsion, extension, externalisation, extinction, extraction. Extrapolation, fabrication, fascination, fédération, fiction, fixation, formation, formulation, fraction, fragmentation, frustration, fusion, généralisation, génération. Glaciation. And that's it for these 50 words. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. Please like me on Facebook. Uh, this is the place where you can find me on Facebook. And then more material if you want. www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon T. And in this lesson, we'll continue this series of videos covering the topic identical words in English and French. And we'll only focus in this video on the words in English uh, that will end with E-O-N, because in many cases they will be exactly the same in French. But you should keep in mind that it's not all the time true. So first... Uh, well, the word must exist in French because it's not, you know, the case all the time. Okay, and then the second thing that you should keep in mind, in some cases, well, the writing of these words will change a little bit. Okay? Gratification. Gravitation. Habitation. Hésitation. Hibernation. Hospitalisation, 
humidification, humiliation, idéalisation, identification, illumination, illusion, illustration, imagination, imitation, immersion, immigration, immobilisation, Sorry, immobilisation, immunisation, imperfection, implantation, implication, implosion, imposition, impression, improvisation, impulsion, inaction, inactivation, inattention. Inauguration, incarnation, incinération, incitation, incompréhension, incorporation, incrustation, incubation, indécision, indexation, indication, indigestion, indignation, Indiscrétion, indisposition, infection, inflation, information, infraction, infusion. And that's it for this list of 50 words. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. Please like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then the website is waiting for you if you want more material. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon U. And in this lesson, we'll continue the series of videos we've been starting uh, that uh, cover the topic identical words in English and French. And in this video, we'll only focus still on the words in English that will end with E-O-N and that will be the same in French. So in some cases, persons tend to say that all the English words ending with E-O-N are exactly the same in French. And um, I've been working on that at least quite much. And I can tell you that, unfortunately, that's not uh, the truth. So the first thing that uh, you should keep in mind that it will be the same if it does exist in French. And it's not the case all the time. Uh, and then the second thing that you should keep in mind that in some cases the writing uh, of the words will change a little bit. Okay, let's start now. Injection, innovation, inscription, insertion, insolation, inspection, inspiration, installation. Instauration, institution, instruction, intégration, intention, interception, interdiction, internationalisation, interpellation, interprétation, intervention, intimidation, intoxication. Introduction, invasion, invention, investigation, invocation, irrigation, isolation, juxtaposition, légalisation, légion, législation, lésion, libéralisation, Libération, limitation, location, locomotion, locution, lotion, malédiction, malformation, malnutrition, malversation, manifestation, manipulation, mention. Migration, 
militarisation. Million. And I just realized that I've been making a mistake here. It should be a three instead of two. Okay. Sorry, I won't make <laughs> this video again only for these two little mistakes. Okay. So that's it. Anyway, you've got your 50 words. And then if you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. Like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then more material can be found at the following address, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon V. And in this lesson, we'll continue our series of videos uh, regarding the topic identical words in English and French. And we'll specially focus on the words in English that will end with E O N. Okay, keep in mind that the first thing that you should remember is that it must exist in French because all these uh, E-O-N words in English uh, won't exist uh, in French. And then the second thing that you should keep in mind, in some cases uh, the writing will change a little bit. Let's start. Mobilisation. Modération. Modernisation. Modification. Motivation. Munition, mutation, mystification, narration, natation, nation, nationalisation, naturalisation, navigation, négation, nomination, notion. Objection, obligation, observation, occasion, opération, opinion, opposition, optimisation, option, orchestration, organisation, orientation, pacification, Palpitation, partition, passion, pension, perception, percussion, perfection, perforation, perfusion, permission, persécution, persuasion, perturbation, pétition. Plantation, pollution, population, portion, position, possession. And that's it for this list of 50 words. If you want more, then more videos uh, can be found at the following address. And then you can like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. And you can find more material at the following address, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 11, Leçon W. And in this lesson, we'll continue our series of videos uh, covering the topic identical words in English and French, and especially the words that will end with E O N. Keep in mind that not all the words in English that will end with E O N exist in French, so it must exist in French, of course, <laughs> to be uh, used in this language. And then the second thing that you should keep in mind, in some cases, uh, the writing will change a little bit. Okay, so let's continue. Potion. Précaution. Précipitation. Précision. Prédiction. Préméditation, prémonition, préoccupation, préparation, préposition, présentation, prévention, prévision, privatisation, 
procuration, production, profession, profusion, prohibition, projection, prolongation, promotion, proportion, proposition, propulsion, protection, protestation, provision, provocation, publication, pulsion, pulvérisation, punition, purification, qualification, ration, rationalisation, réaction, réactivation, réalisation, réclamation, récupération, rédaction, redécoration, redéfinition, rédemption, redirection, réduction, réévaluation, reformation. That's it for this series of 50 words. If you want more words, then they can be found there, youtube.com slash imagier, and then like me on Facebook. I will be really happy. And you can find more material there, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon X. And in this lesson, we will close this, ch in this chapter sorry, uh, concerning uh, identical words in English and French. And we were talking about the words in English that will end with E-O-N. Okay, And that will be the same, but if they exist in French, because, because all... The, the, the English words uh, ending with E-O-N, well, they don't all exist in French. So that's the first thing that you should keep in mind. And then the second thing is that in some cases, we will write in French uh, these words a little bit uh, differently. So a few cases like here, E uh, would become E, and then Z would become S. Okay, so let's continue. Région. Régression, relation, relaxation, religion, rénovation, réorientation, réparation, répartition, répétition, reproduction, répulsion, réputation, résolution, respiration. Restitution, restauration, restriction, réunification, réunion, révélation, révision, révolution, rotation, salutation, sanction, saturation, sécession, section, séduction. Sélection, sensation, séparation, signalisation, signification, simulation, situation, spécialisation, spécification, spéculation, stabilisation, station, stimulation, soumission. Succession, suffocation, suggestion, supervision, suppression, synchronisation, télévision, tension, torsion, traction, tradition, transaction, transcription, transformation. Transition, transpiration, transportation, union, urbanisation, utilisation, vaccination, valorisation, vaporisation, 
variation, végétation, version, vibration, victimisation, violation, vision, vocation. And that's it. Uh, if you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. Then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then more material can be found at the following address, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye.